11.57 a.m. on June 5, 1976, the Teton Dam collapsed, flooding homes, farms, and the upper Snake River Valley with 80 billion gallons of water. The wall of water is approximately five to six miles wide and is moving buildings and everything out of its way. There are cattle in the front that don't have a chance and uh, suggest that all the people that are anywhere near the river at all that get out of the way. In today's episode, we're in Idaho to explore the abandoned Teton Dam. The Teton Dam catastrophe is one of the worst dam failures in U.S. history. The geological composition of the area posed significant challenges. The foundation consisted of limestone bedrock which is prone to dissolution. The dam site was also made up of basalt and rhyolite which are considered unsuitable because of their high permeability. That wasn't the only red flag as several cave systems lie directly below the dam site. This discovery alone meant that the ground could not support the weight of the dam. They attempted to fill the caves with concrete, however the caves were far too large so they abandoned the attempts to fill the caves and proceeded with the dam's construction. Concerns arose regarding the proper compaction of the fill materials, particularly in the area where the dam abutted against the limestone formations. An adequate compaction would eventually result in settlement and increased permeability, compromising the dam's integrity. In November of 1975, the dam was completed. Soon after, water seepage was observed. On June 5, 1976, the right side of the dam began to erode quickly. After a few minutes, the entire right section of the dam collapsed. The failure resulted in the loss of 11 lives, most of which were Wilford residents. Thousands of people were evacuated from their homes prior to the collapse. The total damage was estimated to be $2 billion. The government paid Will over $300 million in claims. The town of Wilford was never rebuilt. Where the town sits is now farming land. We've officially made it to the Teton Dam site. Right here is the spillway for it. And this is what we're going to begin with. This is a location I've been wanting to come out for a very long time and it's actually not too far away from where I live currently. A lot of history on it, a really interesting spot. We're going to go down to spillway in a second. You could see some people have cut through the fencing to check it out. There's a lot of graffiti. And then after the spillway, what we're going to do is we're going to get to the other side of this dam, which requires a bit of a drive. There's no bridges nearby, so about 10 miles down this road is an accessible bridge, and that's how we'll get to it. Going through this way, I'm going to show you right now the exact location of where this dam was located. It had a height of 305 feet and was 3,100 feet long, and it was a embankment dam. On the adjacent side, you could see some ruins. We're going to have a look at those. Right down below here, there's some other ruins of the dam. We'll have a look at those too. Right here was the dam went all the way across to the other side. So when the dam collapsed, it essentially obliterated everything that was downstream. The most major city it hit and really affected was the city of Rexburg. There were small towns along that it completely removed and houses that had to be demolished, but they were all small farm type towns. So there wasn't too many people in those towns wasn't anything too bad until it got to Rexburg. Then I'm going to come up this way to see the spillway, which looks like Rattlesnake Haven. If you watched my videos long enough, you know I do not like rattlesnakes. And anytime I talk about them, they mysteriously appear in the videos. Which isn't too good at all. And here's the dam, here's the spillway.
Okay. All the trash is definitely less than satisfactory. This is going to be a very long walk. All right, this is starting to get pretty steep. Don't know if it's coming up on camera, but it's quite a steep angle. And down below is the river. All right, this is getting way too steep. This is as far as I'm going. Let's get out of here. Actually, we have a building. I was not expecting that. All the equipment's removed, all the inner workings of the dam. Absolutely nothing remains. I guess with this place, it's more of the history. Coming out here, I wasn't really sure what to expect because I haven't seen any videos of anyone exploring the Teton Dam itself. All the videos on YouTube are of the history and covering a lot of the history, but it's not locals or people around here who will actually come out and see it. But it's a very interesting. Yeah. So that's the building we just went into. Continuing along. To this side, I was thinking maybe there's a second entrance or a second building or a second room per se, but nothing. This is so cool. And look at that steep drop, all right? Don't be afraid of heights. You ready? Whoa. That is huge. I'm zoomed out all the way, right? Yeah. I guess it doesn't do justice on camera because when I go down, I mean, it looks steep, but yeah, right there, now you get an idea. That's really steep. I gotta get away from this ledge. We went down there. That was pretty cool. Then the adjacent side. Can't really see the spillway. But going down here is steep fall. Alright, let's get out of here. I don't want to get caught yet. Still haven't seen the whole dam. Whoa. That's one of those tunnels. So we have tunnels underneath the dam.
that's the side we were at just now. That's where I began the video. And that's where the video has been ever since. Now we're going to see everything on the adjacent side. A great view. I hate that the sun is in the way. The sun's about to set, it's eight o'clock. Interestingly enough, you see that hill, the kind of mound of earth you see, that was part of the dam. That stayed, that did not collapse. But right here, that's that building going along. That's what collapsed and then all this caused a chain reaction, all that went out. Not sure what happened to this side. I assume it collapsed too. And that was the dam. That was the failure. And this is the other side of the dam. All fenced off. I don't know if there's a way to get around this barbed wire. Oh, let's see. Notice this area is under 24 hours video surveillance. All right, we're not getting down. And we got a little trail cam. Look at that. Warning, no trespassing this property of the, and all persons are warned not to destroy, defeat, disturb, change, or interfere therewith under penalty of law. That explains we're not getting in. We didn't have any signs on the other side. This side we do. And I think a lot of that has to do with the tunnels. The tunnels are a huge safety risk. And they really are trying to keep people out. Even though there's really no way to get into it now. The one part of this dam that does remain just shows how significant and huge it was. So just having it break away how it did, that was not a small feat by any means. down below the building and remember how the other side had that huge indent kind of dug out in the mountain this side has it too with some stairs i don't know where they go we'll go down a little ways because i think this just drops off onto essentially a massive cliff face the stairs end at a gate. That is a great view. Before the sun was blocking us, now we could really see it. There's the gate, the old stairs, the fence running along. humongous gate to regulate the amount of water that comes out this would connect right to the river that's what i'm trying to get to right now but right down below it i figured this would be a great place to kind of begin checking it out because turns out there's a way to drive down i was gonna hike down until i seen that road i was like hey let's just drive down so we got the pond Humongous metal wooden gate, whatever it is. This thing is huge. There's no way it's still active. Clearly, there's water flowing right now. Whoa. This sounds insane. And by the way, that tunnel I was talking about, this isn't it. It's right across from us. We'll look at that right before we leave. Danger, keep out. Violation criminal penalties wow they're real serious 
and for good reason. Imagine if you fell down this, you would die. You would not survive that. I'm just trying to see if anyone actually made a way in or not. And it doesn't look like it. It's all sealed shut. I would never set foot in this anyway. The sound coming out of here is insane. It sounds like the ocean or a storm. And I really hope you could hear it because it just echoes out. Fascinating. And then let's hike up. That's what we're headed to. Whatever the heck that wooden structure is. To think I'm going to have to climb down all of this to get back to the Suzuki. It is what it is. We're here. I don't know what this would have been. Kind of sits right above. Big slab of cement. Some crazy thick wood up here. And just steep getting down. Just a bit of a hike. We're not getting to it though. Can't cross the creek. And even on the other side, I don't really know how you would hike to get to it. It's a very steep mountain.